I'm Dave. I'm Stevie. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to the episode of DJ Projects number 66. So this week in DJ Projects, I've had some R and R. Well, what I'm led to believe. Stevie has been doing some gates. We've had an unusual trip to the quarry. One successful trip to the quarry. You'll see some quotes. The lads have been smashing it out some fencing with Stevie in control. Lads in the concrete rail have been doing their thing. And the ladies in the office have been enjoying answering their phone for us and getting that working. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let's get to it. So good morning guys. It is currently Tuesday in this weekly D&J episode. Episode 66, crazy that we've been doing it for Actually a bit longer than 66, so sometimes we forget what number on them, we just don't put an episode. So we're probably around about 70, 75, but we're calling it 66, guys. It's a pleasure having you guys here, as always. It's an absolute pleasure. If we could start this video with a like goal, I'd very much appreciate it. Let's aim for 2,200 likes. Let's see if we can get these small ones as good as you can hit these large ones. If you could do that, I'd be very, very happy. Subscribe if you're brand new. We've just hit 60,000. I think we're going to do a little giveaway at 60,000 and then we're definitely going to do another giveaway at 70,000, 80,000, 90,000, 100,000. So make sure you subscribe, guys. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm actually on Big Red. I'm trying to get this crane, the Powell Finger crane, to work. We're not having no luck with it, guys. No luck at all, look. And it is on. Um, it's not doing anything. The only time it will work is if you press this button here. Let me try and show you. It might be a bit hard though. But my little finger is on this one here, guys, yeah? I promise you. I pressed it. Look. I pressed it. Now I press this button. And the faster I press it, it works. And that's not ideal, is it, guys? Well, do you know what is ideal? The swans are back! Now, I don't know why they're back. But they're back. Maybe they realise that we're, uh, we are steadily increasing the size of that man. Nice to see the swans back, guys. Very nice to see the swans back. Let us know in the comments if you've missed the swans. So, because Big Red's not working, I'm actually jumping on Mighty White two ton sharp sand to deliver to our friend Gary Kirk I need to get this off because I need to get six ton of hardcore on as well and I believe that's probably it I think he's a little grab to go as well he's actually wanted big red for the grab but this is all we've got right now guys so uh, sort of got to use what we've got so we're going to use this reason we're filming as well on the Tuesday is because we filmed on the Monday a gate install a driveway gate install Here's a before and after on screen now, in case you haven't watched that video yet. If you haven't, it's a good video, guys. You should go and watch that video. And Jordan and Ant, and as in Chelsea's Ant, actually went out and did a lovely little fence install. Jordan actually filmed a few clips as well, so that's a bonus. And we're going to play those right now. Good morning. It's Monday morning. Not Steve here, and it's not Dave. It's me and Ant today. Doing this. One, two, three. I think it works out three and a bit bays all together. So yeah, we'll get cracked on, we'll get all this dug out, and we'll get a time lapse up so you can see everything. So it's me and Ant. That's the first bay in. A bit tight down there, so I didn't really do much videoing. It was on a time lapse. And Ant's just going to start digging that next one now. We'll put you on a time lapse for that one. Don't search for me, because I'm going AWOL in my heart. There's a hole, yeah. And in my head, there's a demon I can take control. Myself in the room, just my six and myself, yeah. It's getting hard, and I think I'm too. 
all done it was really tight so we didn't actually do much filming i've done a couple of time lapses but that's it all four bays done that was a custom bay so i had to cut that one down and get it right up i didn't want to damage the plant too much so but looking good so what do you think guys looks pretty good don't it looks not too shabby I'm very happy with the quality of work that those two guys have done. Smashed it out of the park. I've actually been in Dunagrab. You can just see some stone in the distance. I'm just going to get Jordan to use Little Red just to push it up a little bit, to tidy it up a little bit. But I need to get all this stone on the back of here. I actually need 10 ton. So what I'm thinking is I probably have to put as much of this on the back as I can. Probably going to clear this out and then I might have to use a couple bags to get that 10 ton guys, but yeah, let's crack on and get it done. I think it's another trip for my dad to the quarry. What do you guys reckon? I've got 8,200 kilograms on. There ain't two ton here, is there, guys? So I'm gonna have to steal two of those ton bags over there. Yeah, baby. Time for that one as well, guys. And there we have it. You can't see it, but it's two bags over there. It's definitely two ton on there. No one gets short chains. So here we are then guys Getting rid of this road stone What they're doing, I'm dropping it there They're putting in barrows, they're going around the back And let's get this Over there It's all gone And it's over here guys They're actually putting in the barrows now And they're running themselves all the way around for the job Looks like they got a bit of slabbing on and some brick work it looks like as well. So I'm sure this one's gonna look good. BMP Paving actually have a YouTube channel now as well. Here he is, look. We don't normally recommend a lot of channels, but we've watched a few of these guys' videos. We're good friends and they've used us quite a bit. So I'm gonna send you guys over to their channel. Show them some support if you can. They've actually done a really good video that I was really interested in myself at the Block Paving. It's actually a really good video, guys. If you could go over there and say that DJ Project has sent you, a bit like what you did for Rick Wright, we'd very much appreciate that, guys. I'll leave their link in the description below. And when I say it this time, I'll actually do it. It will be in the link and it will be easier for you to do, guys. So I will appreciate it. Back to the yard we go. So then guys, we're actually back at the yard. If you can see through there, I've got a bit of a grab on. It's not a full grab, so what I'm doing, and it's a sort of a mixed load, I've come back to the yard to pick up some of that hardcore that I dropped off earlier. But first, before we do anything, because I feel like I'm dying. There's been no in the telly truck, sick note. I've got to have something to eat. So I've got a pasta, a tomato and basil pasta. So once I've eaten this, we'll crack on and get some of that hardcore on this way. Some good concrete that is guys. Some good concrete. I'd have took it straight to the tip this morning but it's not quite a full load and I've got around about, I don't know, just over half on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to lift the body up and I'm going to top it up with this good stuff here because that's like a mixed load. That load that's on there is a little bit like this and I believe I need a bit more concrete on. So that's what I'm going to do guys. I'm going to put this concrete on. I'm going to grab Jordan because this load here from a trader I've just been to and then I was supposed to go around the corner to pick up a bag um, around about say five minutes drive away. I've tried to do it but there's like loads of gas works happening at the moment and there's this big trailer in the way. So I've tried to pull up with the bag on the opposite side and then I'm trying to lift over to try and grab the bag so I'm lifting the arm, putting it where I'm, I'm walking around, I'm looking down and I'm thinking right I'll do it again a little bit of I can't do it guys, I can't see. Um, and with that trailer being there, I'm too close in. So I'm gonna grab Jordan, seeing as he's done that, he can give me an hand with that. And then when we come back, I believe 
we could do with getting rid of the soil out of the soil base. I think what me and Jordan might do, we might make 10 bags of screen topsoil just to create some room because it's all good having the topsoil there, but it's taking up all the room to do any more screening. Do you know what I mean, guys? So we may as well get some in some bags. So Jordan's going to give me a hammer this and then we're going to see uh, do some screen topsoil. I believe anyway. Well, not screen some, but put it in bags. But yeah, let's get some of this on there. So there we go guys, got rid of some of that didn't we? On the scales, when I put my last one on, it was 30,500 and the crane is about a ton. So when I put it down, it's 31,500. Obviously this is a 32 ton wagon. Is that the correct way to do it? Or can I go until it's beeping at 32,000 or just, well, it gives you around about 500 pound window. So when it says 31,500, then can I put the crane down? Or would that make me 32,500? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm playing it safe, and when it gets to around about 30,000, I think, right, put the crane down, that's 31. Give myself a ton to play Here with. we are, guys. We've been to Oakfield, and this is the dreaded bag. The trailer's gone, but now we've got a grab on the opposite side of the road, so we're all blocking roads. We've left enough of a gap for cars to go around. But this is the bag. Um, I was facing down the hill last time, and as you know, we like to grab from this side. So I was sort of like peeling over. It weren't working, guys. It weren't working. Clear now, guys. Back to the yard. Me and George can try and get some bags of soil before it rains and it gets too tacky and sticky. So we're back to the yard. It's bloody raining, guys. It's bloody raining. Created a lovely little pile in there, though. Coming up to four o'clock now. I think we're coming up to around about ten bags. I can't really get that bit there without moving these bags. I'm not sure why those bags are there. Yeah, at least we've created a nice little pile, guys. That's gone down quite a lot as well. It's not chucking it down, but it's definitely... Well, you can see it on camera. It's definitely raining, guys. That's what we like to see. Now we've actually got some room in that soil bait for when it dries down, we'll be able to do some soil screening again. A little bit more of a close-up guys took quite a bit out didn't we even revealed the block molds there 
took some out from there um that's just a little bit more difficult so i thought i'd just concentrate on that and now when we do get some soil screening there's a place for it to go i've just used little red to push up the concrete outside i do love this machine you know guys i know it's chinese and i know it has its uh its little moments but i love it i do absolutely love it so then guys sorry to interrupt the video but we've had a parcel let's see what it is <laughs> Steve, um, clever cooker. So we, we can guarantee there's something nice in here. Yeah, soft and delicious. It says. So one week we have fruit. Next week we have. Uh... Was there a note? Yeah, don't worry about a note. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these bad boys. Oh my god! What are they red velvets? Oh, Jesus! Smell. <laughs> it, it, it feels smell of vision. Yeah. So oh, he, guys, who sent these then? Let's have a look. No address, is there? No, it's a uh, free Belgian milk chocolate chunk, mini egg cookies, red velvet, white chocolate chunk, double chocolate. Oh, Kinder. Ooh. Kinder. Chocolate it's on Craig. Hey, on Craig. Have you enjoyed Craig? Yeah. Um, oh, Craig, I'm not, I'm not I'm sure which Craig, but... Is this your business? Because if it's your business, mate, we'll give you a massive shout out. If it's not, we'll we'll try him first. <laughs> well, uh, oh, we do appreciate it, Craig. Do appreciate that, mate. Clever cooker. You have to let us know in the comments, Craig, whether this is your company, and we'll keep it up there. Yeah. Yeah, you got to eat them, haven't you? They look good, guys. Back to the video we go. Pretty much another day done at DJ, guys. Tuesday's pretty much done and dusted. I know you've saw Jordan doing the bags with me, but Jordan and Nan actually did a bit of fencing earlier. So let's finish with me and let's go and see what they were actually up to earlier today to sign out the day. Good morning. We're back. We're back. It's Tuesday today. We're back. Guess where we are? Oh, we're back not to do anything on here. This is all perfect. So is all this. They do want these changing. Get a time lapse set up and then you'll be able to see me and Aunt do this. Same again, yeah. and then you just check the pants here. Yeah. Right, let me come in first so I can get the inside this tree. Yeah, yeah. go. There we have it, that's two. You can see the height difference from that one to that one now. And then it should run level with these ones.
there we have it guys all complete all level and it's just gone on that side he's just screwed all these in from the other side they're the extenders uh, matches up with all this now Stevie done this and also done all this Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. My first day of the week. I've had a lovely two days off. Been doing decorating. A bit of decorating and flat packing. I hate flat packing. Leave a comment down below. Who hates flat packing? I kill wardrobe. Oh my days. The quality wardrobes we may have. Really, really nice, but flat pack. So yeah, what are we doing today? You see Steve in the background, he is loading sleepers on big red and he's going to do that delivery he might film it i don't know i've got two grabs to do and two bag pickups to do but yeah first of all I'm doing the vehicle check stevie's been on mighty white i believe so what i'm going to do because i haven't been on it should do this every time anyway i keep on stressing this every single time i'm going to go through i'm looking at the vehicle now see if there's anything out of place i'm checking all my tires i'm checking the springs i'm checking the battery covers I'm checking my lights. Every little detail on this. Let me just show you. Every little detail on this, we need to check. Reverse cameras, everything. Everything on it. Springs, make sure the springs are all good. Make sure there's no leaks. Make sure our glue's filled up. Make sure the fuel tank's got fuel in it. Very, very important. We don't want to be running out of fuel. All our lights are working, all our side lights are working, all the main beams are working, you check your oil levels, windscreen wash, everything on this sheet you check. So that's, that's what I'm doing now. Stevie would have already done his on Big Red, and then why I'm doing that, my card is in to prove, but the vehicle hasn't moved anywhere and my card is in. So it shows, I do believe it's 15 minutes. It used to be five, 10 minutes, I'm sure it's 15 minutes now. They keep on changing stuff. But yeah, as soon as I've done that, we'll be on our way. Filled out, brake lights perfect, everything's perfect. First one is soil and rubble grab, so let's go and get that. So that's our grab. I don't forget all that on. Yeah, just moving his van now. So we'll have a look, see if we can get it on. You guys made a little bit of a dint in it not too much reckon another two loads here I'll try and get back today if we can so let's get this tipped it's off for that now we are heading to ng3 to do another grab it says concrete and soil i hope it's got some concrete in this one so yeah so we can get rid of it a bit easier we would be in a lot of soil it's harder to get rid of but yeah and it was clay soil as well so it can't go for our screener so just get rid of it otherwise it just gets clogged up in our yard gets clogged up in our yard can't speak again but yeah ng3 let's get over there so here's our next one at ng3 this is tom lampro so let's use stick your fingers on this one there we have it all on the back ready to go on to the next you may have noticed on the last one i put all the spoil to the back that's because i'm gonna get that hedge on here because it was two minutes away and it was too good an opportunity to get them both on one and what we'll do, we'll drop the hedge off back at the yard because it's not a full load. Get this topped up, take that over to Oakfield and then hopefully Stevie should be done and we'll think we're both going to the quarry to get some roadstone because we need some roadstone desperate. So yeah, let's get this on.
and it'll be gone. I'll ring Steve S, see where he's going up to and see if he's ready to go to the quarry and meet him back at the yard. He needs to finish his now, I'm going to meet him back at the yard. He's going to get a sheet and all the stuff he needs to go to the quarry. We'll get this unloaded in the yard and then we'll head both head over to the quarry. So here we are guys, delivering sleepers to Lucas Gardens. We've just got rid of these sleepers, now it's time to get rid of these sleepers. Probably a little window, so I'll set you up for a time lapse. So then guys, you might have been able to see, but uh, it is absolutely chucking it down now. T-shirts are drenched. Uh, was all moaning about that heat, weren't we? Oh, I wish we had it back now, because uh, I'd rather have a little bit of a uh, sunburn than be trying to grab in this. But that's all dropped off now. We dropped off some post fix as well. Me and Jordan have actually got to go to Ember now to get some uh, roadstone for BP paving another 10 tonnes. Uh, let's go and get that and then go and get delivered I guess. Here we have it guys, we've got 10 tonne of stone delivered to the guy at the BP. cracking on with the job. Who knows guys, we're just going to make sure we get these scraps and we're head back to the yard. So then guys, back at the yard. Dad's on his way back as well. Um, we're both going to take a grab. He's going to go to the tip, take a spoil load. I'm going to go to the tip, take a green waste load. And then we're both going to go to the quarry. So we're trying to, trying to kill two birds with one stone guys. Not quite literally, just a saying. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to the quarry. First time I would have been to this quarry. So, I'm secretly looking forward to it. But when my dad gets back, we'll catch one. I'm all loaded. Dad's going to load. I'm going to take this to the tip right now. Real. I've tipped it off, guys. Right, let's go and meet my dad at Clifton. So I've dropped that off with Steve there. Steve has just shut off to go and fuel up and he's going to get that tipped. He might film it, I don't know. Because that was quite clay and sludgy, what I've done is topped up with our stuff here stuff we can't really screen you're probably running through the screener again but it won't make good quality top so like it is over there so i'm going to get this tipped off now then i'm going to ring steve and then we're both going to head over to the quarry and pick the roadstone off that's number one tip it's getting full here i'll have to let them know but yeah let's drive back up to the office now we're still on their site so i'm all right using my phone don't want you worried about me hey up bit of wheel spin that's a lot of diff that's a lot of diff it's a spot Hopefully we get up. Crawling. There we go. We're moving. So yeah. We're going to get a ticket and I'll let him know that he keeps on pushing up. And then what we'll do, we'll head over to Steve and meet Steve and we're going over to the quarry. We're at Sunny Clifton, guys. Let us know if you know where we are. We've got McDonald's <laughs> and a KFC over there. Has anyone been to this little sort of, this little stop before the A453 heading towards East Midlands Airport? Well, that's where we are before we head to the quarry, having our breaks. Back at the quarry, guys. Let's get you up there a little bit. Let's see what's going on. And Steve is behind me in big red. Put your beacons on, Steve. What's that? Put your beacons on.
Yeah, it's this one. This is the main one. So you're going to weigh off, you give the reference number, MOT type one. You should already have it anyway. And then the other one, you don't have to speak. You just press the green button. But uh, it's reference number 2044928 in DJ projects is type one. And the thing the mates behind me as well. Yeah, you can go down, mate. Cheers, buddy. Bowen's day. Go down here and stick to the left when you're weighed off. over the walkie talker and not let him in because Big Red hasn't got an automatic sheet what we was going to do we was going to manually sheet it up so normally they don't let you walk on the back of the wagon so if the two of you can get a sheet either side and just pull it over and then put the grab down but no this quarry they won't let you unless you've got an automatic sheet so they turned them away which god what a waste of diesel waste of time well, I suppose we know now it's a massive safety thing I think could put an automatic sheet on I think I've inquired about putting a sheet on Big Red as well but it won't be an automatic one because it'll block the doors I don't know if any of you know of any ways we can have an automatic sheet on it still use the sides because on Big Red it's handy to got drop sides and it's handy we can still use the drop sides so yeah a bit, a bit annoyed a bit peed off really because we would have got 15 on this eight on that and the bay would have been quite full again but yeah hopefully he's uh he's on his way back so i told him to pull up in the lay by away from it and we'll have a chat but yeah a little bit a little bit annoying really annoying Come this way, could have told us before. There's no there's no signs up, it just says make sure it's sheeted. No signs saying you must have an automatic sheet. But uh, we'll catch you when I see Steve. So yeah, I just spoke with Steve there. Uh, Steve is gonna go and grab these two bags of our core on the way back, so it's not so much of a wasted journey. And I'm gonna drop this in the yard. I just pulled over to give him the address, but yeah. Bit annoying that, drive all the way there and then refused him on the bridge. But hey ho. But like I say, if anyone knows of any way we could put an auto sheet without sacrificing the back doors, the side doors and the back door, because we still need to use it as a drop side because we do deliver sleepers and stuff on it. I don't know. Hey ho. But anyway, let's go back to the yard. So then guys. I've actually been to Mansfield to pick up some bags and actually done something productive. But yeah, what a waste of a time that was. What a waste of fuel when it's almost two pound a litre. And this is doing two to three miles per gallon. Bit of a waste of time, bit annoying, right? But uh, that's another day at DJ. We'll catch you in the morning bright and early. I'm off to Birmingham to get some steel.
Good morning, it is Thursday morning. You might be able to see someone in past your seat. I'll introduce them in a minute. We're starting this wonderful, glorious, rainy day. We are starting it in the petrol station yet again. So yeah, filled up last week. We're now on Thursday. I don't know if Steve has filled it up, but yeah, fuel. But fuel is coming down, £1.79.9. Yeah, so we get a few quid off the pump price. Not a few quid, a few pence. Pence. So what we're doing today, we have got five ton of bagged roadstone then we have got grabs all day and pea gravel to collect and we're going to get back to the quarry because stevie did not manage to pick anything up as you know because of this sheeting system so let us know in the comments down below if you've got an idea for a sheeting system i need someone to come and fit it i'm not going to be fitting it myself so i don't want ideas of how to do it everyone's looking at me funny because i'm talking to the camera but yeah Ant is with me. Why is Ant with you, may I ask? You ask in the comments, is he doing his HGV? He doesn't need to do his HGV. He's got class one. He's got more than what me and Stevie has. Chelsea has got class one as well. So yeah, he's going to be doing his CPC with a private company and his crane ticket. But what I want to do, I want to get him a bit of experience on the crane before he goes and does that. So yeah, he's out with me today to learn a bit of the... Con he's out with me today to learn a bit of the... Con Oh, Control, controllers. <laughs> is that with me today to learn some of the controls on the crane how to do it because experience is a lot better so if i can give a bit of my expertise it'll go a long way so yeah let's get these bags dropped off and then we'll get cr let's get <laughs> steve's gonna kill me let's get these bags let's get these bags dropped off and get Ant on this crane so we've just had a bit of a nightmare the crane has decided it don't want to play ball. But luckily, John A. Stevens, another builder's merchants, lifted our bags off. Didn't video it because we had to block the road up because I had to be the side of him as he lifted them off for me. So yeah, big shout out to John A. Stevens. Thank you very much for helping us out. You just don't like being uneven. I think one of the sensors is playing up on this one now. So we've got two grabs. Don't want to play ball. But yeah, we're going to grab now grab a, a soil where we went yesterday try and get it to work there where we've got a little bit more time and we're not under the under pressure so yeah next time you see me and Ann we'll be on that one and we will do a bit of filming I'll show you what's going off of it if it's still not working so then we're back at this job it's just going to move the van there and we'll carry on grabbing some of this hopefully the grab works but you'll soon see with the time lapse Standing in the cold, cold rain I don't even feel the pain Anything to step away I know we could both do better Wish you would have left me here Now I'm just controlled by fear What's the point in that? See by the time lapse, we've had a bit of a nightmare with that but Yeah, the sensors, I believe the sensors in there are not registering the legs coming down So we've had a bit of a nightmare but Thanks, guys. Sorry, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back to the yard tonight. I'm going to jet my head out of it and clean them sensors up. We've lost about two or three hours now, so now I've got to play catch up. So yeah, let's get it. Hey We've tipped off me and Antav. Uh, it's going to be the week of absolute efforts. So yeah, back to the quarry now to get the stuff. Steve was meant to get yesterday, but it got turned away. So yeah, we've upped it. We're collecting 15 ton from there, and then we're going back to the yard. Tip that off. Then we've got to do a grab and get that tipped off. So yeah, we'll see you soon. So then we're back at the quarry. I think we look a bit more successful than we were yesterday with Steve S. So yeah, but well, we were successful, Stevie wasn't. Yeah, we're gonna pull on the way bridge and then we'll head off down into the hole. So then guys, we've been told to park up here in the lorry park next to the Ricky's wagon because they are blasting. So they're blasting the phase to get some of the rock down. So as soon as we hear the second siren, we can go down, but we can't go down until we hear that second siren. I swear I need a reverse camera. I'm gonna hit him, what? <laughs> Do you want me to get out? I can't get out, can you? Oh, <laughs> Christ, I can't, can I? You should be able to when you get in the vehicle back though. Get out a bit, 
just probably thinking, Dave, wow, he's really good, comfortable with this driver and getting that close. <laughs> So then guys, just a waiting game, so we wait to hear that, that siren or that buzzer, she's on about a second one I believe, and then we'll move down. So there to hear that guys, siren's gone off, first one. I don't know if you heard that, we heard that, we felt it actually, <laughs> the, the blasted. So now they said he can't move into the second siren, so I'm assuming a lot of these have done this before, so we'll move when they move. Second siren's just gone off, so I assume we go down. I mean, we're all a bit clueless. The guy next to me, or the guy in front of us now, he like shrugged his shoulders once sure. But I'm sure she said second siren, we can go down. Or at least we won't get in trouble this time, there's someone in front of us. Normally it's D and J, we we'll get some trouble. <laughs> So HD Ricky's Limited, it's your fault. <laughs> Seriously anyway, because if we go around this corner, so block blocked it off. <coughs> if it's not blocked, then obviously we can go down. There's a shore driver. Yeah. Roger. Got a lot of employees here, haven't they? Yeah. So it looks like they, they evacuate everybody out of the. Uh, yep, yeah, move. Move yeah. them out. It'll be the radius, won't it? From yeah. the blast. So you have to know more of this about this because it would have been in the armour. <laughs> yeah, it's, it'll be the radius from the blast. Yeah. So we've got to wait for our loading shovel to come back, or our loading shovel driver to come back. Come here, young, young lad in the uh, loading shovel. Right, this one? Yeah. Yeah, here is our man now. You can't see it because the camera's facing up too long. 19 ton. Or ten trucks. Yeah, because I've got a crane on it. So our crane weighs about three tons. Ah, okay. And that's why you uh, want them to get one of them. Yeah, because you carry a little bit more. Yeah. Fifteen. They're fast too many times, then. <laughs> <laughs> Caught me off guard, it's not, it's not our loading shovel, is it? And Dave's got scales in him, yeah. it tells him what's yeah, in yeah. it, so that's why he keeps pouring out. Yeah, they've got scales, well I've got scales where I took it up, they're, they're normally quite good, last time I used the scales, we overloaded it. Ah, oh, okay. Come on, baby. She's down. Yep, she's down. Let's get the mother trucker out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so we might let this uh, big dumper truck come out of the way first. Yeah, that is a big dumper truck. They're coming your way, Andrew. Yeah, good. Good man. Good. Off. And hopefully, we've got the 
right lead time, we're going to have to tip it off in this pile here on the left hand side. So, yeah, fingers crossed, let's get weed off. Still only one way bridge working. So then guys, next time you see us, we'll be back at the yard tipping off. So there we have it, that's two loads there, all dropped. It's back over to the grab we did this morning and grab another load. So here we are back on this one, so let's get it grabbed. That's the one all nice and cleared up. I believe we are doing a tarmacking on this and dropping the curb, so stay tuned. It'll be in a later video, but that's it for me and Ant. We're gonna get this tipped off. So we've tipped that off, me and Ant, and now we've had to take our half hour break. So we're just at the side of the road. We've had a cost, uh, we stopped near the petrol station. I managed to get to the petrol station before my time was up. So yeah, half hour and then we'll be on the road again. Time is half past four and we have got three minutes. So yeah, I've got three minutes left of a break and then we can go in again. We'll head back to the yard and that'll finish our day. So yeah, we'll finish this break off, head back to the yard and we'll catch up then. Well then, I said we'll catch up when we got back to the yard. Just walk into her. She's got an appointment with a vet to make sure she's doing all right. So yeah, had to rush off, completely forgot to video. So I'll let you guys know how tea gets on. But that's another day at d and I'll see you in the morning. So hello guys, you have saw what my dad and aunt have been up to today, I believe. A day of grabs, a day of aunt learning a little bit on the grab. I believe that's what's been happening today. I've been to go get some steel from Birmingham. Oh, a bit of traffic as well. Back's in bits now. Back's in bits. Oh, don't you just love it when it cracks when you give it a twist? But yeah, just about to use sick note to get these steels off and chuck them over there with the rest of them. I believe Jordan and Anne are on a fencing job. If they filmed any clips, you will see them a little bit later. I'm actually gonna go and join them as well because I'm gonna go and install a gate on this job, a driveway gate, a little driveway gate. Um, talking of driveway gates, I was reading some comments yesterday from the Wednesday video. If you've not watched it, go and watch it guys because it is a really good video. I would, I would appreciate that guys, even if you'll never install the gate yourself. Let's go and watch the video because I do appreciate it. Uh, some of the comments, it's about the handle that I meant to put, that I was going to put on, but then decided not to. It's not actually a handle, guys. Um, I've actually picked up the wrong bit of kit when I've gone to grab the my iron work. Uh, so that's not actually a handle. There was a, few, there was a few people that actually got that right and said that's not a handle. And you're absolutely right, guys. It's not a handle. There was something else as well. Apparently there's a couple of innuendos um, on Wednesday's video. <laughs> I didn't mean anything like that. Uh, I just just said what came into my head. But yeah, it's, uh, I'm sure there was something else. There was another comment. I can't think of it now, but if I do think of it, guys, I will explain. Uh, I don't think it was looking serious. But yeah, let's sort out these steels. Sorry 
sorry to interrupt that, but Jordan is now, he's put those steels where they need to be. I actually had a phone call from my mum and just had to sort something out. All sorted now, all good to go. I'm actually heading off to the job, the fencing job where Ant and Jordan are. Uh, hopefully it's looking good, guys. I'm gonna go and sort out a few bits for a gate, those driveway gates that I mentioned. It's not far from the yard, this one in, uh, so I should be there within a few minutes. And then once we've done those, Dad's actually gonna stay a little bit later today because that's where Jamie is vital, guys. And I, you all praise him so much and he does deserve that praise because I can just send him a measurement of anything. Oh, that was another, that was the other bit. How have I gone from Imperial to metric? All these different measurements. Well, what I do, guys, when I take a measurement of anything that I need, I just pick the number that I like the most, that looks more appealing to me. It sounds crazy, guys. It sounds a bit weird, really. But it works. Let's say, I don't know, we'll go from, so six foot. We've got six foot, or we've got 72 inches. It means the exact same thing, guys. The exact same thing. So if I say, Jamie, it's six foot wide, and let's say it's 73 inches wide, rather than me saying six foot one, he will just know that it's 73 inches, which is just past six foot. So um, yeah, maybe I'm weird like that, guys. But that's the way that's the way I do it. I pick a number that is closest to obviously what I need, but the number that I like the most. Crazy, right? But yeah, that's what I'm doing. And as I was saying before I started rambling, that's the beauty of Jamie. I can I can throw him a measurement. He'll make that gate. Obviously, when Jamie's not here, Dad's Dad is the next Dad's next in line for making those gates. Um, so, but as you'll all know, Dad has obviously got grabs all day and he's a busy boy. So you can't just jump on the gates like Jamie can in the yard. But yeah, that's it guys. So those gates will have to get done tomorrow. But yeah, it is what it is. I'm at the job now. So let's have a look, eh? Oh yeah, looking very nice guys. Very nice indeed. I think I'll be trimming a few of those conifers a little later. Just using a reciprocator now on that tree trunk. Yeah, I like it. In comparison to what was there, it ain't looking too shabby. But I am here to sort these gates out here, guys. Let's have a look, eh? So, so this gate here, that is coming out, guys. Oh, this gate. It's, uh, it's had better days, hasn't it, guys? It's had better days. The plan is, to run gates at the same height as this, this here, this panel. Um, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna cut a lovely little square out of here. I'm gonna take this con take this post out and put a fresh post in, because as you can see where it's been drilled through before, you see that nut there, it's bust the back of the post out, which obviously it's not ideal, is it, guys? So we'll do the same thing with our post, our post being a bit chunkier, so I can line this panel up again and put a 4 by 2 onto it straight through. Hopefully not bust the back, that's the, that's the plan guys. And then 4 by 2 there, 4 by 2 on the wall, straight top gates, and these are the gates that my dad will make guys. But yeah, let me get them off. And they're gone guys. They were using, see these big bolts? I don't recommend these guys because Look, it's blew the brick out. So I don't recommend those guys. We always recommend those 6.5 bits for when you're drilling into the bricks. Um, yeah, it's gonna be covered anyway with a 4 by 2 but it's not ideal, is it guys? So we've not saw each other in a long time, guys. It's been a good few hours. Um, let me just show you the progress of what's been happening. We've got this all ready for some gates, guys. A little bit of concrete in there. And then round the back, these lads have been busy as well. It's all done. Fencing is done. It's had a good clean up, guys. It's not looking too shabby. I believe the neighbor behind is actually on the back getting all these conifers ripped out. It's typical, ain't it? You get some work done and then they come out and say, I'm probably gonna get rid anyway. But uh, yeah, definitely not too shabby, guys. Well done to Jordan and Ant for that one. Me and Jordan need to head back to the yard because we've got a grab to do. And uh, 
it's getting late, so let's crack on with it. So back at the yard, guys. Sorry I've not filmed too much today. It's just been a bit of a mad day, to be honest. Um, I can't film this grab either because it's uh, for a trader there. We've just got an agreement we don't film. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow being Friday, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying this video. So hello guys, it is Friday morning. Everyone loves a Friday, right? Have you got that Friday feeling? I definitely have got that Friday feeling. I'm actually off tomorrow as well, so that is a bonus. But we're here, we're doing these gates. I promise I'm gonna film a little bit more today than I did yesterday. I was slacking, I was slacking guys. But yeah, we're here, put the hinges on the gates, get these gates home. So let's get it done. Setting fire to my brain Wondering how I'm to blame You're the one who doesn't dream So why are you always sleeping? I remember when you said You're afraid of what's ahead What happened to ride or die? I asked and you just start crying How are you acting so surprised? Haven't you seen it in my eyes? Oh, I'm running Set you off two time lapses. My phone would not stop ringing. Non stop. So, Anne's just got some clappers and a middle clapper. Gates are on now. Uh, they look pretty good. Let's just show you. So, that's that closed, guys. Let me just show you this one. That's where they're going to finish, guys. We've got that center cap right there. That'll go in the middle. I've put these caps on top look quite smart i might start using these let me know in the comments if you like them um but yeah i'm gonna put a where is it where is it where is it oh i've lost it guys ah there it is the drop bolt on right now and i'm going to put it on this gate because this is going to be the opener because it's hanging off the house this is always going to be stronger than the post we've put in so i believe anyway so that'll be the opener this one will be open when needed but for the most time it's going to be locked in that drop bolt so let's get it on i tried to give you everything you took it all and took it for granted if you're still falling out of love maybe it's because i'm not enough your gates complete guys gone for a ring latch on this one still wants to close itself lock away a couple inches nice equal gaps all the way down that's always a bonus guys i, I do like these i do like these um, now it's time for some concrete Come in, Anne. and there we have it guys let me remind you what these were looking like not too long ago. I think it was just yesterday. As you can see, bow top gates, tongue and groove, uh, on a bit of an angle, not sitting the prettiest no more. But this is what they're looking like now. There we go, guys. Got the gate as low as we possibly can at that side. And obviously the drive's running on a bit of an angle, hence why that side is running a little bit higher. But of course we want the gates to sit running level. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this one, guys. Very, very happy. Oh, and it's locked it, that's what we like to see. It's doing its job. And then as you have a look from this side, that's what it's looking like, guys. Very, very smart, if we do say so ourselves. And then the fence in the back. I'll show you a picture of what this was looking like. As you can see, in desperate need of a replacement. Not too shabby, guys. That was uh, Jordan and Ant's install as well. So you can show some support in the comments for Jordan and Ant. 
very much appreciate it. But yeah, back to the yard we go. Back at the yard now, guys. Um, it's quote time. If I can film a few of these quotes, I definitely will. So let me crack on one of these and we'll catch back up a little bit later, guys. Good fence in here. To here. It's a little bit windy, so I do apologize to stop people from going over there and also just to block stuff off. But uh, quoting for Virtue Volkswagen, eh? D and J. Big timers. So then guys, that one is all done and dusted. So yeah, of course, I'm only joking about the big time. We're already big time. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah guys, hopefully get that quotation. Should be nice, that one. Should be nice indeed. Off to another one. If I get a chance to get some more film for you guys, I will. If not, I'll see you when I get back to the yard. So guys, back to the yard now. We are at the yard, just coming up to five o'clock. Everyone is pretty much finished. The lads are just blasting off the concrete with this little like, handle vibration thing that we use. Um, yeah, getting rid of the concrete, as you can see. They've been busy today, guys, making some beautiful concrete. Just waiting for my dad to get back now with Ant. I think he's just been out and emptied that hopper. Dad and Ant must be in mighty white if Big Red is sitting there and sitting pretty. Hard's oh, looking good, doing not it, guys? Plenty of concrete, plenty of supplies. I love it. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to fly the drone over to that building again. Try and get in one of those windows. See if we can get a, look some good, see if we can get some good shots, eh? You were seeing all of my clips before you saw dad's clips this Friday. So let's go and see what my dad's been up to. And you might even see me at the end of his clips to sign out this video. So welcome back guys. This little sign out is going to be a little bit different. Uh, me and Bernie had to put tear down. <laughs> it's all right. So yeah, like I was saying, we had to put tear down family dog we've had her 13 and a half years what they said was if they did put her under her throat was closing up it was either her throat or her lungs and she wouldn't come back out so we made the decision for a better life for her we had to let her go it's a massive massive it's upset me and Bernard Steve Chelsea it was a family dog like I say it was my dog she used to come to work with me We'll put some pictures up of when she was little. We had her too young. We found out she was four weeks old when we had her. We had to wean her off food. So yeah, she means so much to us. You didn't really see her much in the videos because she stopped at home. She didn't like traveling. She didn't like to cook. Well, at the beginning she loved coming to work, but then she wanted to be a stay at home dog. Yeah. So she greeted us all the time when she would come out. She did, guys. She had these big, big brown eyes and this big waggle of a tail every time you open the door. She's, uh, I'm sure you've all obviously got dogs or some of you have dogs and you'll, under, you'll understand this feeling of the emotion that, the that comes. And like I mentioned before on videos, dogs are not for Christmas, they're for life. And she has had a long life. That breed of dog, 13 and a half years, nearly 14 years old, that is a long and a long age for a dog. Yeah, but, she's... Um, it does it doesn't make it any easier guys losing a dog it is like losing a family member my dad's baby my mom's baby and like mine and chelsea's sister really it's crazy but uh yeah we've all got um, dogs we're a massive dog family but yeah it's it's hard losing one you know it's hard losing a family member like chelsea having to make that decision so yeah this is why we're finishing the video this way so yeah there'll be if you want to stop and watch it you can with a few pictures, slideshow of her, and obviously, this video is going to be dedicated to our dog Tia. So, yeah, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.